Hi everyone, this is Elizabeth from the AM Labs. A lot of people were having trouble trying to figure out how to make a Levy Jennings chart, so I just wanted to show you a quick and easy way to do it in Word. You don't need any fancy macros, you don't need to use Excels or formulas, anything like that. It just takes a line graph. So, I am going to use this, uh, I'm going to be using number two of the Levy Jennings Dry Lab as sort of an example here. Um, I have changed the numbers just so I don't give you away the answers and do the problem for you. So uh, for this problem, you're going to need to figure out the mean, the standard deviation, the three standards, two standards, one standards, and, and so on. A little bit of math involved, you can figure that out. I'm just going to show you the chart part of it. So you're going to go up to insert in your Word document, I'm going to go to chart, I'm going to go to line, and just select a basic line graph. And when you first open it up, it's going to pull up this little Excel window for you. So there are 17 points of data up in this chart. So in this column that has categories, I'm just going to label it 1 through 17. And you can see, put the numbers down here. If there were dates instead, you would just put the dates in this column. This information here, I'm just going to delete because we don't need it. And now I'm just going to set up the basic chart structure using uh, this information here. So 3s, 2s, 1s, x. When you are doing negative numbers in an Excel sheet, you need to put an apostrophe before it, otherwise it'll think you're trying to make a formula. So I'm just going to put apostrophe negative 1s, apostrophe negative 2s, apostrophe negative 3s, like that. Now I'm just going to fill in the information. So 3s is 225, 225. You can copy it, click, drag, paste. It'll put everything down for you. 208, copy it. Click, drag, oops, yep, yeah, there we go. If anything ever is a little finicky for you, just click off it and click again. It will probably solve your problems. Copy. Click, drag, paste. Okay. And so as you can see here, that has made lines, and each of these lines represents these values here, my standards of deviation. So now going off of our example here, which is says we're using cholesterol, I'm just going to fill in some fin information here, and let's say we're using cholesterol. So these are our results. And then I'm just going to take this chart here, and then fill in the information. And there we go. We do not need this window to be open anymore, so we can go ahead and exit it out. Now we're just going to be focusing on straightening out the graph. So you can see that the numbers down our uh, y-axis here don't match our lines, so we're going to double click. And you'll see that there is a box here. 
and over here there'll be a window. You'll see it says Access Options. And we want this page here with this little graph. And so you'll see bounds. You'll see minimum, maximum, and you'll see units, major is what we need to be paying attention to, these three here. So we want to set our minimum to our lowest standard, so one, two, three. We want to set our maximum to our highest. And we want to set the units major to our standard of deviation, which here is 17. And you'll see what this has done. The lowest line is now the negative three standard, and the highest is the three positive standard here. And it's nice and even. Next thing, I'm going to take the legend, just because we don't need it, and I'm going to delete it so that it looks like that. Now, I'm going to go to Insert, go to Text Box, and I'm going to make a text box. So now when you make a text box in Word, and you start trying to drag it around, you will see that it's also moving your graph, which is really annoying. It's not what we want. So how to fix that, click on your graph, and you'll see these options on the side pop up. You want the one called Layout Options. You click on that, and you look for the option that says Behind Text. So once you click on that, exit out of there, you'll see what can happen now is when you make a text box, it's no longer moving your graph, which is exactly what we want. So, now we're just going to take our text boxes and we're going to start labeling them and moving them into the proper position over here. And you can edit the text boxes by right clicking. I prefer them to be without outlines. So there it is. Delete that one. And then you can just copy paste the text boxes. Be as precise as you want to be with lining them up. And you can see now, now we've got our axis, our axes labeled. Other small adjustments that you can do that I kind of like aesthetically is you can click on your line, make sure all of your points are selected. Go over to the little fill in line paint bucket. You'll see line and marker. Click on marker. Click on the marker options and set it to automatic. You'll see what that did is it just made little dots show up everywhere that you had a data point, which I just like the look of it. And then if you want any of these lines, for instance, to be different colors, just click on them, make sure all of the points on the line are selected, go to the paint bucket. You can adjust the color if you wanted to make them all black, for instance, you can make them thinner if you don't like them with the, with the thick look. And that's pretty much it. Got your title, got your, your days or runs, got your ranges, and your titles. And it didn't take any fancy formulas. So uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments. If there's anything that I have gotten wrong here, if uh, one of our instructors wants to chime in, let me know, and I will put any adjustments in the video description. But otherwise, hope this helped.